This one a little bit different. We're not expecting blizzard conditions across the area and not nearly as much snow. The last time we had one to two feet, this time about five to ten inches. It's manageable, but still some wind issues along the coastline. Northeast gusts between 35 up to 60 miles an hour and coastal flooding a threat as well. Thursday morning high tide, minor potential for pockets of moderate and more of that beach erosion. So as we dig right in here to the impacts, hazardous travel will be the main one with all that snow accumulation, especially once that sun sets late Wednesday night as things start to freeze on the roads. Damaging wind gusts, <clears throat> some impact there too. Outage potential is there because of the weight of the snow and the coastal flood threat, some impact too. Temperatures right now, we're in the 30s and that's prime. We've had such a cool air mass in place the last several days that it's going to be easy to get some of that snow to start to accumulate and the road conditions right around the freezing mark. But again, it's going to be mostly at night where we'll have the slick roads for tomorrow evening. Today, a high of 39 and increasing clouds and overnight down to 28 degrees. Clouds continue to thicken and we have a chance for the snow to move in across the south coast. We have winter storm warnings and a winter storm watch posted for all of the area. It depends what you're under here, where you live to the north and west under that storm watch, because there's more uncertainty. If we could see a little bit of a shift in the models, perhaps more snow there, and you may be upgraded to a warning. That's up to the National Weather Service. But we do have a winter storm warning in Boston, and it's because of the hazardous travel we anticipate all the way through southeastern Massachusetts Wednesday. Wednesday morning, the commute, okay. Okay, but things deteriorate through the morning. 8 a.m., some light to moderate snow. Pockets of heavier snow move across by Wednesday afternoon, spreading in from south to northwest, a very sharp cutoff to the north and west. And by 4 o'clock through 5 o'clock, I think the Wednesday night commute is going to be the toughest travel. Just with all the snow developing, several inches expected on the ground. And once that sun sets, that March sun angle not doing its job to help melt some of the snow. So it gets slick overnight into Thursday. Thursday morning, big question is how... How quickly does the snow cut off? Does the system move out? We get a little bit of a north north westerly wind direction and across Cape Cod and islands, more ocean effects snow chances for you through Thursday afternoon with that wind direction. The rest of us, we're done with the bulk of the snow accumulation by late Wednesday night. And here it is, 5 to 10 inches of snow from Boston out to 495 into Worcester County, 2 to 5 inches and then coating to 2 inches. That cutoff, we may adjust that later tonight with the latest forecast model guidance. But 10 plus farther to the south and west across central Connecticut, across Rhode Island too, more mixing for the Cape and Islands and the winds strong enough that we have high wind watch from Wednesday through Thursday. 40 to 55 could see a couple peak gusts of 65. The coastal flood threat early Thursday, 15 to 20 foot waves just offshore and more of that beach erosion. So a flood watch will later be upgraded to probably an advisory, maybe a warning in some spots. Two high tides we are watching. Uh, don't expect intense wave heights by Wednesday afternoon. So that's why we don't have a coastal flood advisory. But again, it's that Thursday morning tide where we're starting off a little bit higher astronomical high tides compared to the last two storms. There's your seven day forecast. Beyond that, we have some 40s for the end of the week. Dry Saturday flurries on Sunday. Back to you, Kate. All right.